and welcome everyone and thank you for being here truly i am so grateful that you 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 ladies you men all of you come on and we we get to talk a little bit about prosperity and business business and prosperity what does that mean and what does that create in your world you know when um, when before before being introduced to the world of access uh, i was more of uh, for me business meant exactly what people in this reality talk about business you know it's more about business is done by men to run the home and some women who have to work for money i had that huge point of view although i always worked and i always enjoyed working but somewhere i had bought that point of view um as mine because i would hear people around me talking like that especially in a country like india you know whether 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 where the idea of a woman stepping out of the house and working is so narrow it is so projected as to um only if you need money and i'm talking this i'm talking about a good 30 years back right i'm not talking about the present the present time when things are different now people are more willing to work people are more willing to explore what is possible and um so for biz, for me business was really very um uh, in the box within the box and whatever fit in was business and you were either in business if you were bringing home money and your business was doing well if you brought home good money and your business wasn't doing well if you didn't bring home good money so how many of you still have that point of view that your business is successful only and only if you bring home more money or the day you have a good sale you are like oh i had a good day at business and the day you don't have a good sale you are like oh i had a really bad day at business you know i just it was really bad so everywhere that you've defined your business based on the the amount of money that comes in would you all please destroy and uncreate that right wrong good bad what for call nine shots boys and beyonds and i would really like to ask all of you here as to what is business for you like are any of you really in business do you um do you do you do business from this reality any of you do you bring home money <laughs> as as this reality says businesses do you all bring home money yes okay awesome so for for those of you who bring home money this reality would say that you're in business you're working you're either working for a company or you're working for yourself and you are you're bringing home money right and the prosperity that comes in from from this reality space is the amount of money that you bring in if you bring in more money you're prosperous and if you do not bring in the amount of money that you should be bringing in then you're not prosperous you're not prosperous enough you know as a comparison with other people but you are just prosperous enough to lead a good life how many of us have heard that statement from people that oh you're just prosperous enough to live a good life or he's really prosperous have you seen his house so everywhere that we bought those points of views and everywhere for us prosperity depends on the amount of money that comes in can we destroy and create that right wrong good bad pot pot call nine shots boys and beyonds so what we you know what i would really like to bring to you all and invite you all into is this energy of where prosperity is truly an energy of greatness prosperity for each person is different prosperity is the energy of where your brilliance shines and where your brilliance doesn't have to be and cannot be compared to anybody else's because it's just so different and if you want to throw in money with that then that that is the energy of prosperity where you are aware and where you operate from the space of knowing being perceiving and receiving instead of the energy of thoughts feelings emotions and sex and no sex and no thoughts no feelings and no emotions something about you know something really interesting that gary said once was that if you don't 
if you do not transform your points of views about money, then the more money you have, the more money you create, the greater financial mess you will create. So when I heard Gary saying that, for me, it was like a real aha moment because I realized that, you know, sometimes you see people who make so much money, so much money, but the financial mess that they create is as big as the amount of money. And then you hear people saying, yeah, it was big investment. It was big money that they were talking about. So obviously, if he's going to lose, he's going to lose big money. It becomes almost like an equation, you know, that if you invest so much, then your loss will be so much. But, but the crux of it all is, if you do not transform your points of views of money, then the financial mess that you will find yourself in after you create a whole lot of money will be far worse than what it was before. And that is the energy that I really wanted to bring into your worlds as to that for me, that awareness and that education for me is prosperity. The education that, you know, it's not about the money that I'm bringing in. That doesn't define my business. Even if this reality says it defines my business. No, it doesn't define my business because my business is not defined by the amount of money brought in. My, my business is the way I live, is who I be. And every time that you, you know, your, your willingness to educate yourself on receiving is the first step to prosperity. So I have, I have so many places to go to that I'm like, I just want to talk about it all. <laughs> But you know, it's just, it's just the energy that I really want to invite you all into and have you all tasting that, that beautiful energy of receiving is something that we're not taught to do in this reality. We are taught to reject. We are taught to judge. We are taught to, to say, no, this is not for me because it's not good enough. You know, stuff like that. Receiving, receiving in, in, the, reality, in, in the reality that you are asking to create comes from a space of the willingness, the capacity to have it. You have to cultivate receiving. Receiving is a cultivation. It doesn't just happen overnight. You've got to cultivate the energy of receiving. That, that require, and that is what leads to the energy of prosperity. Because your willingness to receive is your willingness to give up your points of views and to be interesting point of view. And something with prosperity also that I would love to bring to all of you is that the more we come from the space of thoughts, feelings, and emotions, sex and no sex, no thoughts, no feelings, and no emotions, the more we go into, we literally get sucked into, you know, it's like, it's almost like, oh, thoughts, feelings, and emotions, this big, huge ball of thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and you find yourself getting sucked into it. That keeps you in that, in that constant, constant financial mess. Even if, your, even if your inflow is 10 times more than what it was in 19, in 10 years, in maybe one year back, why go 10 years? Even if your inflow was, is now 10 times more than it, what it was one year ago, but if you are still being sucked into your thoughts, feelings, emotions, sex, and no sex, you will have a greater financial mess. So the way we, the way we shift, shift that energy is to be the space of knowing, being, perceiving, and receiving. Because that and that alone is the energy of prosperity. So everywhere that you have not been willing to know, be, perceive, and receive, what you know, be, perceive, and receive, what you could know, be, perceive, and receive about the future would you all now please destroy and uncreate that? Right, wrong, good, bad, but for call nine shots, boys and beyonds. <sighs> wow. Awesome.
Oh, something has changed. Lovely. So do we have any questions? I would love questions, anything at all. Anybody? So, okay, so I'm just gonna talk then. <laughs> so something that I wrote down, you know, I was making my notes for the class that we have coming up on the 2nd of December. And uh, it's just a two hour class. And I was making my notes and just writing down stuff and seeing where all, you know, where all we can go because I've been doing these business classes with Shannon and being a joy of business facilitator now. And also with uh, Judisa and Stephen Bowman who are absolutely brilliant and I highly recommend them. And, uh, you know, every time that I do um, classes, business classes with them, the one thing, the business and the... the business and the money classes with them, every time that I do it with them, the one thing, the one big takeaway, it's, it's almost been like, oh, okay, I'm gonna take away this from them, is that business and money are not the same. You know, money is something totally different and business is something totally different. But in this reality, we've glumped both together because we decided that we do business for money. So when you've just got that point of view that we do business for money, there is no energy of prosperity to that. Hi, Fina. Oh, she went away. <laughs> so there is no energy of prosperity to that. There is in fact an energy of, I get the money and I've got it all. So when, when you are looking for prosperity in business, you really want to look at the energy of what can I choose greater here now? Your choice has to come from that space. You know, your choice has to come from the space of what can I choose greater? Not from a space of more money, but from a space of what will create greater as your life. Five years from now, one year from now, six months from now, what is it that will create so much greater for you? And what is it that you're not choosing? And everything that is, would you destroy and uncreate that, please? My trunk, good, bad, pot, pot, online shots, boys and beyonds. So to be prosperous, you must make a choice to become greater than what you have been willing to be. And that, that, is, the, that is the space of where you have to cultivate your receiving. That's where, you know, the whole thing comes together. That if you're going to be asking for something greater, you have to be willing to receive. But if you are cultivating rejection, and if, you know, it's, it's almost like a plant that you water and you put manure and, you know, you, you take care of it. But if you're going to be uh, cultivating rejection, then what you're going to create as your business is not prosperity. With your business is not prosperity with your life and living is not prosperity. Because then prosperity is something that will always be outside of you. Instead of you being it. Because you're, instead of, you know, being the energy of, yeah, I'm willing to receive it all and I'm willing to know be perceive it. You're going into, I would rather be in my thoughts, feelings and emotions and reject it. So do we have any questions? I'd love some questions. So we know where we can go from here. Uh, yeah, Chandana, I have a question. Hello, yes, lovely. Yeah, actually what is prosperity is going to do with business? Yeah, thank you for that question. I love it. Yeah, so when you, when you, so how many of you trust prosperity and wealth? How many of you perceive that you would be prosperous and you would be wealthy? How many of you trust that? And how many of you trust that this is the way your life's going to be? Maybe a little better, maybe a little worse. Maybe my next life 
I will be prosperous. <laughs> right? Everything that brought up can we destroy and uncreate that. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call, nine shots, boys and beyonds. So when we have that point of view about, um, about prosperity in business, when we have that point of view that I don't perceive prosperity, I don't perceive wealth, are you ever going to have it? Are you ever going to, if you don't perceive prosperity and wealth, if you don't get prosperity and wealth, would you ever be able to have it? Gary constantly says, what you would like to have, you must be. So are you willing to be the prosperity and the wealth? And when you're willing to be that, what could you be in business? What could you be with your business? And everything that doesn't allow you to know, be, perceive, and receive that, can we destroy and uncreate that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call, nine shots, boys and beyonds. So Helen, when you are perceiving your life as normal, mediocre, just like the others, like my family lived their life, maybe they have a one-bedroom apartment, maybe I'll have a two-bedroom apartment. They have one car, maybe I'll have two cars. Okay, I'm doing better than them. That's a comparison. And that creation of yours is coming from a space of lack. It's coming from a space of comparison, corruption, and need. It doesn't come from the space of prosperity because you're not willing to receive that energy. So what, I'm, what I would really like to create in everybody's world here is the energy of receiving prosperity and wealth the willingness to acknowledge that exists for you to choose. I mean, how many of us are not even willing to, it's like prosperity. Ah, uh, for me, it's like, okay, if I can travel business class or maybe first class, that's prosperity. If I can, you know, it's like, you know, we've got these little, 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 little points of views of what we've defined prosperity as. And how much of that is outside of us? How much of that is, you know, I'm desiring that. I would like that, but I can't have that. So when you look at it that way, you've already put prosperity and wealth outside of you. And now can you ever, can you ever have it if it's already separate from you? Yeah, so most of the time it's like this situation. Yeah, but it's like, is that uh, actually what is the, actually the, I mean the what is the yeah. true prosperity means for us? I mean means for us, yeah. Like instead of like, they, I mean most of the people they are saying that it's like you have some maybe like some sport car or something like that, then you are prosperous, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So true prosperity comes from the space of receiving the greatness and the brilliance of you. Because okay. the brilliance, yeah, the greatness and the brilliance of you is true prosperity. And when you're willing, so I'm just going to read this out. When you start receiving the greatness of who you truly are, then everything in your life starts to transform. But are you willing to receive the greatness of you? Many of us look at our greatness as a comparison to somebody else's greatness you know, and it's very definable. It's, it's, if you can define it, you look at it as a greatness. And if you can't define it, you go into the wrongness. But it's in that, it's in that, it's in that space of what is undefinable that lies your greatness. So are you willing to be the undefinable greatness of who you truly be? And that, when you're willing to be the, the greatness of who you truly be, is when you're willing to be the prosperity and the wealth. Like when I say prosperity and wealth, is prosperity and is wealth definable? Some people will say money, some people will say holidays, some people will say luxurious, maybe yachts, maybe expensive cars. 
you know, or, go, or a lot of jewelry, a big house. Yeah, Helen, true prosperity and wealth is undefinable, which is the greatness of you. And that is something that I would love, I would just love to talk and to include that energy in our world because we've never allowed that energy into our world. Even when we talk of our greatness and our brilliance, we're like, yeah, okay, my greatness. Oh, you see how much greater I am today? I had six people in my class and yesterday I had two people, so I'm greater today. <laughs> or, oh, wow, I made, I made $500, where I used to make just $100, so I'm greater today. That's just, that is just, like I said earlier, that's just the cash coming in. But now again, if you don't transform your points of views, you're going to be in a bigger financial mess than you ever were before with the more money that comes in. Because money always makes you more of who you already are. So Helen says, when you say receive undefinable greatness, I feel I'm refusing it. The words undefinable is so uncontrollable. Absolutely, honey. And that is the purpose of defining. The purpose of defining anything is so you can get it right, so you can control it. But what if your greatness could not be controlled? And what if there was no right and wrong about your greatness? Yeah, could you then receive the prosperity and the wealth of who you be? Chandana. Yes, darling. It's interesting when you said about the greatness because the greatness is in this reality. We think that we get something that's great. So also yeah. we know about the greatness. Yeah, absolutely, Fena. Because greatness in this reality comes from comparison. It comes from competition. It comes from a lack. It comes from a need. You know, and you will find yourself and you will you see this starting really young in schools, right? Or in at home, but if they're siblings, one one child is compared to the other one and one is made greater than the other one, you know, and, and you know, the, you, you look at siblings and sometimes the, the boy child is made greater than the girl child based on gender. So they're all different reasons and justifications to make somebody greater than you on a definable reason. But when it's undefined and you look at both the kids and you allow them to be their own brilliance, they're going to be greater in their own way, which cannot be compared. You know, so if you, if you were to take out everything that defined you, you know, right from being a woman, being, coming, being, you know, being uh, a citizen of Indonesia, married, children, uh, a teacher, a facilitator, and you know, all of those other, all of those other definitions that you've attached to yourself. If you were to take all of that out from you, everything that defines you, if you were to give that up. And now if you were to look at yourself and if you could ask, what is the brilliance of me? And everything that doesn't allow you to know, be, perceive, and receive that. Would you destroy and uncreate that? Right, wrong, good, bad, what, what, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Shandana, just now yes. you said about business and money are two different things. What do you yeah. mean by two different things? Thank you for asking, Usha. Yes, honey. So business, something that, uh, something that, you know, Simone, Gary have been talking about constantly. And after becoming a joy of business facilitator, I just get this so much more. Because every morning, if you wake up and if you have blood flowing through your veins, you're in business. You are in the business of creation. You are in the business of living. You are in the business of making a choice. Every time you make a choice, you are creating something. 
right? Money, on the other hand, is just a byproduct of your creations. But when we glump money in business and when we make business, when we make business the source of money, you have to diminish yourself into mediocrity so you don't allow yourself to be the source because you are the source of money. You are the source of creation. But how many of us look at ourselves as a source of creation? We look at business as a source of money. So when you look at business as a source of money, you're actually going to be serving your business now for money. So do you see how that works? You are no longer of service. You are now in service of it. Serving it to create you money. Always being less than it. Always looking at it to create you money. When, so you've actually given up your power. But when you look at you when you look at yourself as an entity, you look at your business as an entity, and you communicate with your business and you speak with your business, and you are like, hey business, can we just create some money together? Hey business, what can we create here that can have us creating shitloads of money? Now you're communicating with your business. You're not working for your business in the hope, wishing that you would get money. You're actually in control and you're being the power. You're not giving it up and you haven't separated yourself from it. Do you get that, darling? It's more of a communion. It's more of a communication. It's more of a co-creation instead of a separation. So money is a byproduct of your creations. Money is also you and you are also money because money is energy and you are energy. And the only thing that separates you from money is the points of use that you have of money. Because money really has no point of view. It doesn't care if it goes to a smuggler or if it goes to a beggar or if it goes to a child or if it goes to a billionaire or a millionaire. It doesn't give a shit. It will go to anybody who's willing to receive it. But what are you creating as your life and living is the business of your life and living. Are you creating your business to survive till you give up your bodies? Or are you creating a business that can thrive 500 years into the future? That is prosperity and wealth. Your willingness to include the future in the creation is prosperity and wealth. Did you get that, Usha? Yes. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So I think it's a wind up for today, is it? <laughs> uh, Chandana, I have a yes. question. Yes, darling, sure. Actually, go for it. prosperity and wealth, if is that both of them are coexist or they are separating? I mean, it's two different things. Um, can you ask me a question again? Sorry. I mean, the prosperity and wealth, uh, is that yeah. both of them are coexist or they are separate yeah. is to each other? I mean, yeah. Yeah, prosperity is different. Wealth is different. Wealth is the willingness to create a future. Prosperity is what you create as the future. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that. You're welcome. So when we, when we actually are willing, and I would really like you all to perceive for yourself what is prosperity and what is wealth and to allow that energy into your world. Like, like, actually ask for it, guys. And ask the universe, show me what is prosperity. Show me what is wealth. You know, ask for it to come into your world. Ask for the energy to come into your world. 
because when you're willing to be that, then you're really willing to have the brilliance of you shine. Okay. All right. Thank you for hopping on. And I really enjoyed speaking with all of you. Thank and thank you. you for your questions, lovelies. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thank Jenna. you so much. Thank You're welcome. Very... Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Fina. Thank you, so Ira. Thank you, Ani. Thank you for putting this together, love. And yeah. I look forward to you all. Whoever would like to join our class, it's just a two-hour class, and it's seventy-five USD with global pricing. Uh, so I think it's just fifty dollars for uh, Indonesia and for India. And I would love you all to join us, and let's. Let's crack this and let's just go sh into the future. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Love so that. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.